What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for stopping in. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and the bell right now because you don't want to miss what's going on. It's time today to take this thing back to stock. But first, cold start. Okay, okay, sorry for the clickbaity title. It might not be time to take it back to stock yet. But I had an interesting request the other day, so we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Man, gee, sounds good. I hope the camera can pick up that Speed Culture Studios custom catback exhaust, because golly. Beautiful idle. So the request was, take, talking about taking this car back to stock, the request was that if you are to set the coilovers to the softest setting, will the car ride like it's on factory suspension? Uh, I've never had it that soft. The, they come preset to like right in the middle or essentially pretty close to right in the middle. Um, and I've only stiffened it uh, from there. So we're at like a uh, minus 12 or minus 13 or something like that right now from the stiffest setting and there's 30 notches. So we can go a long way to the softer settings. So that's what I'm, I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna test it out. I thought that's kind of a, a good idea let's just test it out see how the car feels and then on that side of it we'll stiffen it all the way up to the stiffest side and see how that feels see which of those are practical let's knock this thing all the way down to the softest point and see how it feels on the road and speaking of suspension guys we still have the spring into spring tain Aztec lowering spring giveaway going on right now you have about one week one week from today that i'm filming this so uh like i said that uh, giveaway the entry period ends Sunday March 28th 2021 if it is not March 28th of 2021 yet you still have an opportunity to get entered I'll put a link in the description to that giveaway video just follow the instructions uh, in that video and you'll be entered to win the drawing will be done uh, late afternoon early evening uh, of March 28th and we'll get the uh, winner announced and we'll get those Tain Aztec lowering springs out to you right away. Again, hit that link in the description below, follow those instructions, get yourself entered to win those lowering springs. Well, let's adjust these settings on these coilovers right now and see what happens. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. There's gotta be more than 30, sec 30 uh, settings. These extensions in the rear make it very easy as well. Yeah, it's really it doesn't feel bad uh, it doesn't feel super soft I can definitely tell there's still suspension the car is responsive but I have the Hotchkiss sway bars front and rear and obviously we're lowered a couple of inches um, just you know by the nature of the coilover so the center of gravity uh, you know helps the cars handling overall anyway um, but surprisingly I thought it would be a lot more soft, to be quite honest. From what I've always heard, that the, is that there are 30 notches. There's 30 notches for dampening on these BC coilovers. And I was, like I said, negative 11 or, or minus 11, minus 12. Um, but I was able to go down 20 notches in the rear and 25 in the front. So that would almost lead me to believe that there's like 35 to 40 notches we'll find out so taking some of these kind of sweeping corners with a little bit of speed carrying a little bit of speed I can feel that extra kind of squish a little bit of extra body roll as we take those curves but it's not terrible it's not terrible now what I want to do is kind of do a, maybe a, a figure eight or kind of some tight circles and maybe a launch here and and to see kind of how the car uh, feels and if it squats a little bit so taking a little curve here and do a lot yeah you can feel that roll no rubbing though I was worried about being this low and then being this soft and rubbing there's no rubbing we're taking some tight current corners here oh yeah oh yeah the car really is rolly really rolly taking this tight turn Oh, definitely can feel the squish. 
car really almost <laughs> it doesn't feel like it's going to roll over but you know what I mean so uh, just going to launch it here yeah you can feel the tail end squat that's even with traction control on it's really kind of interesting I was I was expecting it to ride a little softer on the street um, but it doesn't it does it still kind of feels a little bit rigid it's not jarring it absorbs the it absorbs the imperfections in the road uh, definitely a lot more than what my settings were at um, I would I would compare the softest settings of the BC coilovers to um, lowering springs I think it, it feels there's no bounce uh, but my Tain Estex didn't have bounce in either that's why I'm comfortable giving them away as a giveaway uh, item here coming up uh, I think the new owner of them will really like them a lot they they ride really really nice uh, there's no bounce the car feels nimble um, but you could definitely feel a little bit of squish on these BC coilovers taking those tight corners and I actually didn't feel that with those Tain uh, lowering springs. I felt it a little bit at tail of the dragon, uh, but we were really pushing the car pretty hard in those corners. Um, gosh, she sits really nice on these BCs. Uh, but that's what I would say. I would say those, I would say the softest setting on these BC coilovers is just like the Tain Estec lowering springs. I hope the wind isn't too bad. But now, let's stiffen them all the way up and see what happens. Alright, I'm going to count the rear this time. So we're going to the right. That was one, two, three, four, five. 20, 21, 3, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 30, 30, 31 ish. So, what I noticed here was that it might not be uniform actually, because, like I said, the rear driver's side was like 31. I got 32 notches all the way to the right on the passenger side. Uh, driver's side front, 33 notches and then 32 notches here so it might not be uniform it just might be however kind of it works out um so i found that to be interesting uh, but anyway we're all the way stiff front and back let's see what happens my expectations for this uh just because i had tried like a, a minus nine before front and rear is that we're going to feel a lot of bumps it's going to feel really rigid and um really tight and stiff so We'll just do some of the circles here and uh, see how it feels. About the same. Ooh. Yeah, see it feels like I can carry a lot more speed in this, in these corners. Definitely a difference in just the figure eights. Big difference though. Traction control. Let's take her out on the road. See how we can, any imperfections. Yeah, very stiff. And it's funny, just leaving that lot right there and mildly pressing on the accelerator on the gas pedal, uh, traction control kicked in. So it's bouncing the back tires off the pavement, if you can imagine that. And that's something I noticed too uh, when I went on some spirited drives with the stiffer settings. Is that as I accelerated, especially on some of the back roads that aren't as well kept, uh, it felt like the tail end wanted to hop out on me um, just accelerating. Because every bump it hit, it was kind of popping the tires off the ground. And I don't know if you can pick it up in the camera but it's quite bumpy. Somebody's been out here doing some burnouts, I see. A lot of them, huh. Wow. That's not right. Somebody found my picture spot and did a bunch of burnouts. What the hell, man? Sort of makes for a cool picture, but 
Well, you think you find a nice spot. It's kind of off in the middle of nowhere. And they just gotta come, take it over, draw attention to it. So I don't really mind it. Uh, well, I, I do mind it. I do mind it on the stiffest settings. So the problem with it, obviously, is that it's just a little too stiff. I'm not sure why anybody would choose uh, to run on the stiffest settings like that. It's just too rigid. Um, it's too much. Like, uh, particularly in the rear, especially when there's no one riding in the back, uh, it's a little bit, it's too light in the rear end to run that stiff, if you know what I mean. It's just, it's just too rigid. It doesn't absorb those bumps and, and grooves and cracks in the road, which could potentially be dangerous um, if you like to drive spiritedly and you're accelerating on an on-ramp or you're accelerating, uh, you know, on a straightaway and the road is not perfectly smooth. Uh, it could potentially lead to loss of traction issues and uh, cause you to spin out, um, cause you to spin the tires, you know, whatever. So even in, um, you know, daily driving scenario or in a race racing scenario, if you're on the track or the drag strip or if you're a street racer, um, you're not going to get the best grip like this. Sorry about the wind. Let's go inside here. It's just too bouncy. You have to find, you have to find sort of that, that ideal spot, you know, which I think I was, I was at, I had it dialed in, but you know, too stiff, you're not gonna get the traction you're looking for. You're also going to really sacrifice ride quality. Um, too soft, the car is gonna be too squishy. Um, you might get some good grip on launch, um, but you also are going to be absorbing some of that torque. Um, through the suspension components. So you're not putting all the power directly to the ground. So it, 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 Like I said, it's kind of a give-and-take you kind of have to find uh, that level ground that gives you the ride quality You're looking for allows you to hook uh, when you're trying to accelerate uh, But also keeps the car rigid enough to where you you are nimble in the corners um, Especially if you're looking for a car that can do kind of both things take it to the drag strip But also, you know running through the twisty roads without making any adjustments. So I think that's where I was at um, negative I would say minus when I say like minus 11 in the rear, I kept it a little more stiff in the front, maybe a minus nine or minus 10 or 11 in the front, minus 13 in the back, uh, a little bit stiffer in the front, a little softer in the rear. And again, because I said, especially because there's no weight in the back, uh, it gets a little bouncy. So keeping it a little softer in the rear would, uh, would be beneficial, so. really weird feeling traction control turn kick on just regularly just for turning corners and pressing the accelerator I'm trying to give it a fair shake and drive it just as far as I did on the softest settings as I head back to the house and it is bumpy very bumpy not bouncy, just rigid. It feels like if you've ever lit, ridden in a, you hear that phrase all the time, it's like riding in a lumber wagon. If you've ever ridden in a lumber wagon, you would know. Uh, it's just no suspension, just straight axles. Uh, it, just rough, rough as hell. It is pretty tight in corners though, obviously. But man, you can feel everything. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to ride like this at all. This would just get obnoxious. You have to do the, the drink test. If you can ride in the car and not drink a, a soda or coffee, if it's bouncing you that much, and that tells you it's a little bit too stiff. I think that's where we're at right now. I don't know if the camera's picking it up at all. I'm trying to not exaggerate it but also not hold the camera too still to where it, you can't see it. it it's just too much this is even a, a pretty decent road and it's just like so what's my conclusion well you cannot get the car to feel like 
factory suspension after installing the BC coilovers. Although there are 30 plus uh, adjustment notches on the dampening settings, you can't get it soft enough to feel like the factory settings, but then who would? I mean, what's the point of getting coilovers if you're gonna make it ride as soft as your factory uh, car road? It just doesn't, it doesn't make sense. But then again, who's gonna run it on the stiffest setting? It just doesn't make sense from a practicality standpoint. I mean, you wouldn't want it for traction purposes. You wouldn't want it on the track because not every track is perfectly smooth. There's, there's gonna be imperfections. It's just the nature of it. If your car is a little bit light in the rear, you're gonna lose traction anytime you hit a little dip or divot, and that's dangerous. If your foot is on the gas pedal, if you got the gas pedal mashed and you are trying to accelerate out of a curve on a straightaway, anytime your light rear end hits a bump, your tires are gonna spin, and that's gonna be a problem. And I would say too, even on the softest settings, the car feels so rolly and top heavy, even though we're lowered a couple of inches, just doing those figure eights, it was really squishing and I just don't see where that's practical either because what's the point? What's the point of doing, what's the point of upgrading to coilovers if your car is not going to handle any better uh, than it did out of the factory? It just, that don't make sense either. So we're going to change these settings immediately and pull into the garage here and we're putting them back to how it was. Don't do it. Don't put them to the softest settings. Um, it's not going to feel like factory, but it's not going to perform very well either. Uh, got to go somewhere in the middle. You just got to go somewhere in the middle. If you're going to upgrade to BC coilovers, test it out. See how you like it. Uh, in my case, it's a little bit on the stiffer side. So there we go. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope this video was informative, uh, if not just a, a little bit of fun. Um, but make sure you guys go to that giveaway video if it's not March 28th, 2021 yet. Make sure you get entered to win those Tane Estec lowering springs. If you're not going to upgrade to BC coilovers, that's a great alternative. Um, they perform really, really well. They install relatively easily. Uh, and I happen to have a good installation video available for you as well. So no worries there. Get entered. Thank you guys very much for the support. Thank you for continuously watching these videos. Good things to come for Speed Culture Studios this summer is gonna be. Summer's gonna be awesome. I can promise you that. Thank you guys very, very much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.